Are you properly planning today to prevent problems tomorrow on this episode of Title Tuesdays? Hey everybody, welcome back to another fantastic episode of Title Tuesdays. My name is Kevin Thatcher, the founder and CEO here at Independence Title, also known as your Title King. If you remember a couple of months ago, we had Jose here. He is our tax advisor and we wanted to bring him back for another episode talking about properly planning today for problems that can occur tomorrow. So thanks for joining us today. I appreciate sure. your, your uh, coming in here and giving us your knowledge. Thank you for having me. So whether it's a client that's buying, whether it's a client that's selling, could be a realtor, could be an investor, I want to talk about some tips and advice that we can give them to properly plan today. Because I know so many people run into a jam and they have a problem. They're calling their tax advisor after the year has closed right. and then it's too late. Do I make an IRA contribution? Do I take a, an extra check at the end of the year? They have no idea how to plan properly today, and we want to help their problems from happening tomorrow. Absolutely. Yeah, with tax planning, there's a lot, to, you know, there's many strategies we can use. There's income shifting, there's retirement planning, there's cost segregation studies, depreciation. You know, we have a, a ton of strategies that we use with our clients, but the key thing is to plan before the year ends. It's always uh, best to meet with your advisor, call us in June or November. Usually the, the two busiest months for planning are June and November, right before the year ends. If you're calling in January, it may be too late for the majority of the, the strategies that we use. And it could be small. I mean, it could just be you're a W-2 employee and, and maybe you have a couple of write-offs. I mean, I think it's very important to make sure that you're, you're planning today and, and you're calling someone. We talk about all the time making sure you have people on your team having someone that, that is looking out for your best interest to make sure they're giving you, you know, the best advice possible. So, so a good time for them to call you is in June. What are the steps kind of that you go through with them in order to see what they're, they're looking at to be forecasted for the end of the year? Right. Um, I mean, I'll give you an example of a client that I'm working with now. You know, a couple of doctors that are, they own a medical practice and they own the 340 units, apartment units throughout Miami. They don't qualify for the real estate professional status but their wives may. So that's a strategy that I'm going to be implementing. I'm going to have their wives qualify by them managing some of the properties and um, you know, qualify with the hours, the 750 hours that they're, they're required to have. And by using that strategy, they're going to be saving over 200,000 in taxes alone. So, you know, it's just one example, but there's, there's many, many strategies that we can use. But it's a, it's a matter of analyzing the person's uh, situation because everybody's different. Not everybody owns 340, 350 properties. Not everybody's a doctor, but there, you know, there's real estate investors that own buildings, that own multifamily units, that there's a lot of potential planning there that they're not taking advantage of. All right, so that's some great advice for our, our viewers out here. What else can you add? Any nuggets of wisdom for them as we uh, are probably going to be airing this, to, you know, as we're getting past that June mark. Right. So we're going to start planning, you know, to to wrap up 2018 taxes, so give them some advice. How about a seller that's selling a house? What do they need to give you if they wanna, when they're doing their taxes? You know, the settlement statement yeah, to show what they've paid. Right, you wanna keep track of your HUD one, your HUD, I think they changed the name recently. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they can change it to a closing disclosure, well, closing disclosure now. disclosure, right, so you wanna keep keep that. I'm gonna need that to, to look at all the expenses associated with the sale, keep track of all your expenses you know, improvements that you've done to the property before you sold it, that's important. It's important to understand the difference between improvements and repairs so that you're not misclassifying expenses, things of that nature. And he talked a big one, talking about expenses. You know, there, there's so many people, they, they do these itemized expenses, they don't save their receipts, and they forget at the end of the year, what did I pay here, what did I pay there? Right. They don't keep track of it. What's a good way for some of our viewers, if they want to be able to keep track of some expenses, is, is there a good way for them to do that? You know, some of my clients use QuickBooks. I mean, I personally use QuickBooks. QuickBooks is great. I mean, if, you, if you're the type of person that doesn't really understand how, how it works, I mean, you can always hire a, a bookkeeping practice. We have a staff accountant in my practice that handles a lot of my clients' accounting, so you can reach us as well. All right, so it's, it's, this episode was all about planning today, so this way... They don't have these problems later. And we know I get the calls all the right. time talking about problems. I need my HUD one. I didn't file for taxes on this. 
you know, we, we see clients that have IRS tax liens all of the time. So it's just something that I, I think it's smart to plan today so, to make sure we're, we're helping them out. Absolutely. So thanks for coming in and giving those little nuggets of wisdom. Yeah. I appreciate it. And uh, as always, thanks for watching this episode of Title Tuesdays. My name is Kevin Thatcher, the founder and CEO here at Independence Title, signing off. And I look forward to seeing you at the closing table.